Hello once again, everybody. We're visiting with David Booth, the harvest specialist with Case IH. And David, this is a pleasure. Not a lot of meetings like this going on uh, this summer, but uh, as far as the 50 series combine in back of us, tell us a little bit about some of the improvements from last year. Sure. So when we look at uh, our 50 series combine, uh, we had several enhancements over our prior series on uh, the 40 series. One of the main areas is the feeder house. So we've completely redesigned the feeder house uh, for more strength, more driveline durability, uh, and those components, higher lift capacities for larger headers, uh, and just really an overall more robust feeder house. Um, the next area that we look at would be uh, our driveline and the transmission for the combine. It's got all new transmission in it. It's a two-speed with a two-speed hydro. Um, so you can essentially do all your field work in one gear with a two-speed hydro and all your road travel uh, in the second gear that way. Uh, probably the biggest enhancement that we've had on our 50 series combines is our Harvest Command automation technology. And if you're not familiar with what that is, it is essentially combine automation. So as this combine goes through the field, it's going to self-adjust based on varying crop conditions. So it will adjust your rotor speed, it's going to adjust your in-cab cage vanes, it's going to adjust your top sieve, pre-sieve, bottom sieve, fan speed, and also your ground speed. My oh my, you know from years gone by, as I recall, uh, what an improvement or what a, a group of improvements. Uh, I guess this is what you call user friendly? Yeah, it's, it's very user friendly and that was one of the main uh, design criteria when they put this system together was it had to be easy to use. Um, it also has a camera in the clean grain elevator. So, you know, for years we've always kind of looked, looked behind us uh, to kind of watch our sample in the combine. We still do that today, but there's also a camera in the clean grain elevator that's constantly looking at the grain sample to try to adjust uh, for the best grain quality. What are some of the comments that you get from prospective buyers? So far what we've heard, uh, we did have this technology in the field last year uh, as a part of the launch for the 50 series combines. Um, guys were, I'd say it met and exceeded their expectation um, on the harvest command. Uh, they like the fact that, you know, the combine is, is making adjustments constantly while they're in the cab. So even some of our more experienced operators, uh, they saw the combine making changes um, that maybe were a little bit different than what they would have done, but the outcome was less loss and a better grain sample. I can remember uh, with some brands in previous years that uh, a model will be released and uh, the availability is not a as good as the company would like. What's the availability with the 50 series? Uh, right now, as far as production goes, uh, this is model year 20, so that's the machine behind us. Uh, those are basically built and there'll be some on dealer lots, but we are taking orders for model year 21 production for next year. And what about... Uh, service in a unit like this that's ever uh, important with a farmer can a farmer do most of the maintenance himself or does he need to go to his dealer uh, typically it's a combination you know your daily maintenance things uh, the owners are going to do the farmers are going to do that uh, it's been very popular uh, in the coming years of uh, preventive maintenance inspections through the dealer. Uh, you know, they just, they know what to look at. Uh, they know what to find. And that really seems to help the uptime of the machines uh, with customers just using those preventive maintenance inspections. Uh, we're here at Apple Farm Service today. I know they have a program for that, uh, as well as many of our other Case IH dealers. And if farmers want to get a little bit more information about what we've talked about, or maybe we've piqued the interest about something else, what's the best way for them to do that? Sure, we can always go to caseih.com. Uh, we could also go to our dealer website, so for instance, uh, Apple Farm Service uh, slash Case IH, and there'll be resources uh, there for guys. You know, even if you don't have a new machine that we're talking about today, there'll be resources there, uh, you know, for preventive maintenance on, on your other machines. Very good. David Booth has been our guest. David, thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. And stay with us back with more right after this.